Morning guys, my wife has informed me the grass has to be mowed. And you know, from looking at it, I'd say she's probably about right. But with the price of fuel, I don't like to mow too often, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, went out and jumped on the mower this morning. I'm gonna fire it up, get this thing cut off, cut, get this grass cut, and it wouldn't crank. So, now what we're gonna do, let me show you what I found. This is a Kubota ZD221. Probably if you own one of these, you know, if you're going to crank it, you got to have this pedal pushed down. You got to have the steering levers all the way over because there's a switch right there on each side. They got to be engaged. And you got a seat uh, switch that you have to be sitting in the seat. First thing I tried was bypassing all those switches because I felt like that was probably it. The battery on it's pretty new. Ah, two years old. Turn the light on. Everything looked good. A little bit dirty and easy little cleaning. So, my initial thinking was I tried disengaging all the safety switches. Still wouldn't crank. Nothing. Nothing. Not one thing. So, my next, I put those back. My next thinking was, well, okay, maybe it's just a ground issue. So I went back in here. This was a little bit loose. I put me a little piece of lead in there to make that a little bit tighter. You can see that. I checked over here. Actually, I took this bolt off, sanded that off real good, cleaned the ground wire. Because a grounding issue, from what I understand, a lot of time, will be your problem. All right, wonderful. Put that back on. Ask it to bring the thunder, turn the switch, nothing happened. Oh man, okay, is it the starter? I don't know. I don't know. So I keep tinkering with it. You know, sometimes when you got an issue, it's best to go sit down, get you a, a Coke, maybe a pack of nabs, clear your mind, and then come back to the problem. So that's what I did. So I come back out to the ZD221. I'm thinking, well, let's just make sure, let's find the fuse box and make sure that the fuses are all seated. I'm going to set the camera down here because I got to fit this seat up. Please ignore the mess. I've got, I had this thing spick and span this spring, but been more. Anyway, so I'm looking here and I find this little old box right here. Pop it open, and I didn't pull any of them out. Roosters, he doesn't like me talking, I guess. But I did seat them. Some of them were not seated very well, okay? So I checked the seat on that. All right, push this down. As Vice Grip Garage says, bring the thunder. How sweet is that sound? So evidently my issue was simply the fact that the fuses were not seated. Maybe if you have a starting issue, this might be something you can check. And I hope your problem is not deeper. Alright, best to you. Let's get out there and get this grass cut. But you know, you, uh, come on, there ain't no need in all that racket, the way I see it. You think so? That's old Red. He thinks that he runs the place. Let's get busy. Bring the thunder.